we have done with the introduction part and even Euclid's division algorithm is done till now and today's topic is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. In this real numbers we have five subtopics out of which three we have covered. Introduction is done, Euclid's division algorithm is done and today's topic is uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay, fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Any natural number can be written as first let me just tell you what is comp in this whole fundamental theorem of arithmetic, the words which we'll be commonly using is prime number, composite number. These are the two main words which we'll be using it most commonly. Okay, what is prime number? Prime number is the uh, any number which is divisible by the number and the number uh, and by number itself and composite number. You already know, for example, 6. 6 is divisible by 1, 2, 3 and 6. Whereas for prime number, let's just take, suppose, 5. 1 and 5. Only these are the two numbers which are divisible by that. So what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic? In the previous classes, you will be knowing that uh, uh, prime factorization method you will be solving. Suppose, for example, 12 is the number. 12 is the digit. How you will be solving this? 2, 6 times. 2, 3 times and 3 one time. So you'll be representing 12 as 2 into 2 into 3. This can be further represented as 2 square into 3. Right. This is how you'll be representing any number by fra uh, prime factorization method. So this is the same process which we'll be using and the new term which we'll be no uh, calling this as The method which we solved right now, that is 12, 2 into 2 into 3, we just call it as prime factorization method. It is just a fancy name that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic, it is nothing uh, but same as prime factorization method. But here if you can see the slides over here, you have some 4 to 5 slides which is just about theory. For me to just sum it up over here only, it is just nothing but fu fundamental theorem of arithmetic is nothing but prime factorization method only. Here, see let me just, any natural number can be written as product of prime factors. Here, any natural number. In this example, 12 is a natural number. What is natural number? Natural number is always represented by n and it starts from 1, 1, 2, 3 and it goes on. Whole number represented by w but it starts with 0. Okay, natural number starts from 1 and whole number starts from 0. Here in this uh, fundamental theorem of, theorem of arithmetic, any natural number See, in our example, we have to number 12 and 12 is a natural number. can be written as product. Product is this multiplication, product of prime factors. Prime factors is 2, 2, 3, 2 and 3 is prime factors. What is prime factors? Prime numbers is just nothing but 1 and number itself. 2 is, two is uh, divisible by 1 and 2, that's all. 3 also the same. What are the prime numbers? For example, prime numbers is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. These are sufficient for us to know. 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. Here, 2, 3, both are prime numbers. See, to continue, any natural number can be written as product of prime factors. See, these are the products, 2 into 2 into 3. It is prime factors only. For instance, here I have given this as an example. 2 can be written as 2. 2 into 1. 4. 
4 can be written as 2 into 2. Both are prime factors only and this is the product, product of two prime factors. 253, how can 253 be divided? 253, 253 in 1 it is not divisible. For check, uh, checking of 3 divisibility we have to add all these 3 numbers. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 is not divided by 3, hence the whole number also is not divided by 3. For 5 in the end you should have either 0 or 5, both are not there. And 7 also it is not divisible, hence see 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 is not divisible, hence next number is 11. 11, 23 times if you multiply, you will get 253, both are prime numbers only. And so on, it is just for example they have given, they have used the numbers as 2, 4, 253. Here are examples, in this whole lecture we will be just solving the whole theor uh, theory and then some examples. Now let's try some examples. See, I gave you more examples than here they have just given 2, 3, 7, 11 and 23 where we wrote 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. Possible natural numbers Okay, here they have just given, these are just the collections of the, what is they have given. If we multiply some or, see here, the next thing what we are going to learn here is, if we multiply any two numbers, you will get 6. So, see, here I have written right 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. If we multiply 2 into 3 into 5, 6, 6, 5 is 30. Again, 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. All these numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, all these uh, numbers are prime numbers only. You will get 2, 10. Here, this 30 can be written as 2, both this 30 and 2, 10. Both these numbers are prime num uh, composite number. Right, both these numbers are composite number. It can be divi uh, divided by 2, 3, uh, 2, 6, 4, many more like that, 5 also. These both numbers can be divided in many numerous manner. If we just take the product of these prime numbers, there are infinite ways we can get the answer as. There is no finite, uh, finite number that the possible numbers of factors you will be getting. If you just multiply all these prime numbers, you will be getting infinite numbers. That is what is the theory next part. If we multiply some of these numbers, some of these numbers is these, allowing them to repeat as many times as we wish. Here I have just took 1, 2, 3 in the first case, in 4 here. You can take as many prime numbers as you want and it is a large collection of number and what you will be getting is uh, composite number. See here, 7 is a prime number, 11 is a prime, 23 is also a prime. If you multiply all these three numbers, you'll you'll be getting 1771. This is a composite number. Okay, again here. This is are these are just examples. In the previous slide, what I have written over here, see these are prime numbers. And these two numbers, what we get as an answer is a composite number. Here also, all these numbers are prime numbers. The product of prime numbers will, al will always give you infinite product. See here, there is no count. You can as many here. For example, here in this problem, you have 2, 3, 7. You can add as many power as you want. 3 square, 7 square, 11 square. And again, you'll be getting different answer for that. See, if you just remove this square over here, you'll be getting another different answer. Again, you remove this, uh, uh, just 7. You keep it as 7, 2 square into 3, three square. 
into 7 into 11 into 23. If you do that also, you'll be getting different answer. It just means that in this prime number, any number of power you can take and the composite number will be keep on changing instantly. That is, see if you have the power keeps on changing, whenever the power keeps on changing also the num the multiply, the product what we are going to get also is different. It just tells that. See now let us suppose that the collection of prime numbers includes all possible primes. All pos possible primes in the, in the previous slide we saw that. These are the possible, these are the possible primes. See in this possible primes, what is the guess of the size? Size of this collection, can you even just guess what is the size it can be? Like just for example, you can take all possible primes and just keep on squaring that. And can you even just without using calculator or just like that, can you even just multiply and tell what is the number or product you are going to get? Obviously not. Here does it contain a finite, you are asking us does it get a finite number or infinite number? Finite number are you, get, uh, are you going to get or infinite number? There are infinitely many primes. Without using any calculator or anything, can we just even multiply this 2 cube into 5 cube into 7 cube into 9 power 9 into 7, 11 power 7 into 23 the power 6? Obviously not. It just is the example for this infinitely many primes you'll be getting when you just solve this. So if we combine all these primes, if we combine, if we combine all these primes in a possible ways, We'll be, we'll be getting infinite collections. What is that I'm talking past five minutes? It is just nothing but there is uh, there are certain set of collections of prime numbers. The whole prime numbers, if you take a product of that, obviously you'll be having infinite collection of primes and not finite collection of primes. Here we got this composite number. Here, since these are composite number, these can be represented only by the way of primes. This is composite. The answer what we are going to get, the product, the final product what, what we are going to get is a composite number. But to get a composite number, the product whatever we are using, it is use of prod, uh, prime numbers. See all these are prime numbers, using this only we will be getting answer uh, composite number, that is what this slide says. Composite number, there are many composite number with the power of primes only it is used. Now next, next is factor tree. What is a factor tree? We will just solve it with an example. We'll start with a smaller number, 36. How do you start with this? It is first 36 you'll be solving with prime factorization. Two times it goes, 18 times, 9 times, 3 times, 1. To solve with 36, this is how you'll write and then factor 3 is nothing but Whatever pa possible factors we are going to get, we have to represent it in a tree form. Okay, see here, 36. 2 multiplied by 18 is th 36. 2 into 18. 2 is already a prime factor. You cannot substitute that further. Next, 18. 18 is 2 9 times. 2 is a prime factor. You cannot do that again. 9. 9 is not a prime number. So, 9.
how can you represent 9? Three three times is nine. Here three is also a prime number. Even three is also a prime number. This is how a factor tree uh, looks like. See the first thing is every composite number. Thirty six is a composite number. Eighteen is a composite number. Nine is a composite number. All these numbers should be further classified so that it is a product of prime. It should be a product of some prime. Until then we have to keep on substituting that. See for a, another example which you have it in your textbook also. We will be solving it here. Let me erase this. See the next example we have is 32,760. 32,760 is a composite number. 2, 16,380 times, if you multiply this and this, you will be getting 16,380. Okay. You will get 16,380. Again, 2 is, two is a uh, prime number. 2 into 16,380 is a composite number. So, 2 multiplied by 8190 is... Uh, uh, 16,380. Then 8,190 is a composite number. You have to keep on further proceeding that it is again divisible by 2, 4095. Then again it is a composite number. 4095 is not divisible by 2 because ending is not 2 or any even number. 4 plus 9 plus 5, 14, 18. 18 is divisible by 3. Hence the whole number is also divisible by 3. 3 if you just multiply it by 1365, you will be getting 4095. Let's just check 1365 is divisible by 3 or what? 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 is divisible by 3, hence the whole number is also divisible by 3. 3, 4, uh, 455 times you will be getting 1365. 1365, 455. 4, 4 plus 5 plus 5, it is not divisible, you will be getting 14. 14 is not divisible by 3, hence the whole number is also not divisible by 3. 3 is done, 2 is done, 3 is done. Next factor, what we will be finding is 5. Yeah, 5. Since the last digit is 5, it will be divisible by 5. 5, 91 times is uh, 455. Again, the last number is not 91. Last number, last digit is not 5 or 0, hence it is not divisible by 5. And again, 3 is also not divisible. The next prime factor which you can find is 7. 7, 13 times you will be getting 91. 7 and 13. 7, 13, you will be getting 91. Both 7 and 13, both are uh, prime numbers. Hence, you need to stop it over here. The number started over here, 32,760. You should not stop until you get both the numbers should be prime numbers. In the first step it was composite, here also composite, composite. You should not stop until you get prime number. Okay. Here the same thing has been written in the statement form. We have factorized 32,760. What are the numbers we got? 2 into 2 into 2 cube, 3 square, 5, 7 and 13. See, 2 into 2 into 2, 3, 2 times, 5, 7, 13. 2 cube, 3 square, 5, 7, 13. The whole thing can be represented as this. 2 cube into 3 square into all these are product of primes. Any composite number should be, uh, should be product should be the product of product of primes okay the whole motive was this was a this was a composite number you have to keep on dividing that so that everything is a product of primes i hope this is clear for you one thing what i wanted you to know is
we have already seen uh, in Euclid's division algorithm how we have to find that is a is equal to bq plus r this is how you, we used to find using uh, uh, for HC, for finding HCF on LCM this was the method we used to find here in this uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic to find HCF on LCM to find this HCM and LCM see in this example how do we find H, uh, there should be two numbers we have an example only let's just take that only 